Hey, I'm John Thielen, host of Lindy's Fish Ed Television. If you watch Fish Ed, you know it's no secret that I love my spinner fishing. It doesn't matter where I'm fishing. It could be up in North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Michigan, Wisconsin, or right at home in Minnesota. I'll tell you what, I don't think there's any better way to catch a walleye than with a spinner in the middle of summer. And that's because them fish, they just get wound up. I mean, they, the water warms up, they start chasing bait. Spinners are a great way to cover ground. You're moving at a mile an hour, maybe even a little quicker. You're able to cover that ground, you're able to find fish, and they're willing to chase it, and that's a big deal. But I'll tell you what, I get asked a question a lot that you know, people want to know from me, how do I choose my spinner color? Because there's a whole bunch of different colors that you can buy. And, and you know, I guess day in and day out, the first thing I look at that I think is the most important thing is water clarity. Can those fish see really, really well? Or are they gonna have to get close to it to see it? So here's what I do. If I'm in clear water, I'm gonna start with natural colors. Now with these new colors, the Little Joe spinners that we're putting in, what you'll notice is we have some colors that really do emulate natural bait fish. You look at that chartreuse and gold right there, man, that's a perch all day long. Or maybe this blue and chrome. That's gonna give you that flash and it's gonna give you that color hue that you'd find on a shiner minnow. But if I'm in dirty water, something where all of a sudden them fish are gonna not be able to see it quite as easy. So I wanna grab their attention from a little further away. That's when I'm gonna start with something like this one right here this pink blade with that gold on it and then painted white on the back. I'll tell you what, these fish are gonna have an opportunity to tune in on it, not just because of the vibration, but also the color. So the first thing I look at every single day when I put the boat in the water and I think I'm gonna go pull spinners today, that's how I'm gonna get on fish to start, is number one, how dirty is the water? Is it clean water, is it dirty water? And here's the last tip I'm gonna give you about that. When I'm trying to figure out whether I'm in clean water or dirty water, I just take a peek over the back of the boat. If I can see my stainless steel prop, it's fairly clean. If I can't see it, it's dirty. If it's dirty water, I'm gonna start with those brighter colors. If it's clean water, I'm gonna start with those more natural colors. If you stick to that rule of thumb day in and day out, you're gonna to get to the right color a lot quicker and you're gonna catch a lot of fish.